Hello and welcome to module four, inter-VLAN routing. Um, I know I left you, I, uh, I didn't complete the layer three um, configuration, so I wanna make sure I go over that um, again. So please, when we're all done, just submit the whole thing, okay? So just before we were interrupted on the last video, PC1, here just to let you know, PC1, did not, we're, we're not able to, I'm going to just uh, clear the screen, CLS. Uh, oh, I guess it just doesn't do that. All right, anyway, if I ping 192.168.50.2, which is this guy right here, it's, it's not pinging. And the reason it wasn't pinging Is because well let's tr let's troubleshoot it's not pinging right and because well I'll tell you right now what it is is because we forgot to put the default gateway for VLAN forty and VLAN fifty if we go to the switch just to double check let's take a look at the configma enable and let's do a show run all right. Um, <clears throat> Let's make sure we have gigabit 101 is VLAN 40. That's what this guy is at. And 102 is on VLAN 50, right? No negotiate on, on both of them. And they're both access port. Let's make sure this is 11. And if you just point your mouse, don't click on anything. This is 12. So they are all good. So let's just make sure that the default gateways now is 192.168.40.1 all right and this guy is 192.168.50.1 all right now they should be able to ping each other even though they're in different vlans so if I hit the upper arrow key to repeat the command and hit enter, and it does reply. I right, see, so even though they're on VLANs, it goes through the switch. Remember, enter VLAN 40, give it the IP address, 192.168.40.1, then enter VLAN 50, interface VLAN 50, just like you were doing it for a management, interface VLAN 50, and then you type in the IP address, 192.168.40.1. 50.1, right? Let's add another PC, right? Um, let's um, add another PC right here and another PC right there. And let's give this PC, put it in VLAN 40, 192.168.40.3, right? And his default gateway is going to be 192.1. 68.40.1, right? Let's make this guy in VLAN 50, 192.168.50.3, and 192.168.50.1, right? Now we just got to go to the switch and put them on port, put this on VLAN 10. I'm sorry, VLAN 40, and this guy's on VLAN 50. So let's choose 1, 0, 0, 3 is going to be for 0, 6, and 0, 4 is going to be for PC7. All right, so when you see the word more, just hit the space bar. And by the way, here are the commands that we typed in. This is the default gateways for inter interface VLAN 40 and interface VLAN 50. So all we have to do now... We're going to do config C, and you're going to go to interface G, 1 slash 0 slash 3, and you're going to do switch port mode access, and then switch port access VLAN 40. And then we're going to go interface G one slash zero slash 
uh, four. And we're going to do switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 50. Okay. And then all you have to do is put in a cable, straight through cable, from fast Ethernet to 013, and another straight through cable from fast Ethernet to 014. And you just keep adding ports to whatever VLAN you want. Now everybody should be able to ping each other. These two are in VLAN 50, and these two are in VLAN 40. And here's another thing that is really good about layer three switches is an interface can act routing between them. So I can connect, you can make an interface to act, I'm sorry, a port on any of these interfaces act as if it was a regular router interface and, will, and they can share um, routing between each other. So it's less expensive than a router and let, let's do that. In fact, in fact, here, I'm going to type in this command. I'm going to go, not 013, I'm going to go to 05 interface. And when you say no switch port on it, it's going to turn, you're going to turn it into a regular interface where you can assign it, assign an IP address on it, right? Type no shut, and um, it'll be just like a regular router interface. And then we'll be able to do routing between both of them. So let's go to the router and do that. I'm going to go in and type in, you can go to the interface, G1 slash zero slash five. And we're gonna say no switch port. So this command now allows it, and then you say no shut. Now the interface is active. I'm gonna give it the IP address, 10.10.10.2 with a mask of 55, 55, 5.250.0. No, oh, let me just um, expand this for you a little bit so you can see. Right, I already typed no shot. All right, and now I can I can uh, I can even do routing between these. And here's the routing that I want to do. So. Let me write this down. Let me type exit. Don't worry about the OSB routing. We will do this in a different class, but let's run router OSPF. So you can type router OSPF. Let's router one. And let's say the network that we're going to advertise is 192.168.10. We are here we're going to advertise network 40 and network 50. okay so it's going to be 40.0 where the wildcard 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 area 0 okay you're going to do the same thing but we're going to hit the upper arrow key make 50 Hit the upper arrow key and change this to a three. And the address is going to be 10.0. I'm sorry, 10.10.10.0. .10 okay, that's it. Now we're going to get, uh, you can get a crossover cable or a straight through cable. I'm pretty So take this. Go from 015 connected to gigabit 01. All right, but now I got to go to the router and enable 01. So if you go to the router, type EN, config T, and I am going to uh, go to interface G0 slash 1 and say IP at 192. I'm sorry. It's going to be the other address, 10.10.10.1 10 10 10 with 255.255.255.0. All right. And I'm going to say no shut. 
And now the interfaces should come up. You see, they turned green. Excellent. Now let's do OSBF on both sides to see if they can do um, OSBF routing. So you're going to say router OSPF1. And you're going to say network 192.168.10.0 with 0.0.0.255 area 0. And we're also going to advertise that the 30 network, because that's 10 and 30 is on this side. They're going to send it to the other side, advertise, so they know they can learn it. And we're going to advertise the, the link. Again, you don't have to worry about these commands for now. Just write them. I just wanted to show you that you can actually turn this uh, network into i'm sorry router three can actually do ospf as well all right the layer three switching and you can see if you go to the router now i'm sorry the layer three switch and you can see that they actually learned if you do control z and type show ip route and you can see i have learned routing the O, see, I learned the 10 network and the third network and the 30 network is connected through fast Ethernet 05. So now I can ping from here. I can ping this guy. 192, watch this. Because now I can ping 192.168.10.0. Uh, what is this guy? Let's, what's this guy's IP address? I forgot. Dot one. So. Dot one. Okay. And you should be able to reach it because now you got OSPF going through across from the layer three switch and it works. You see? So now you even got routing. So layer three switch will allow you to even do routing. So it's much less expensive to use a layer three switch than a router. Router is a lot more expensive. It can do a lot more fancy stuff, but this can do everything that we need. A little bit more expensive than a layer two switch, but it does everything for us. So you tell me, which is easier to do a layer three switch, use a layer three switch for inter VLAN routing, or use a router or a router on the stick. By the way, we call it on the stick because look, everybody is connected to this one trunk it's a little bit slower here it's much quicker right just remember you create the vlans assign the uh, the default gateway to each vlan and when you connect the pcs each port goes to the vlan right simple as that and if you say no switch port on a port it becomes like a regular interface and you can use it for routing all right that's it beautiful so please save this and upload it um, for homework. And I will see you on the next chapter, chapter five.